Hi there, my name is Israel, and today we're going to talk about how to get ChatGPT inside of your fishbowl. So in the last video, we talked about uh, how ChatGPT is a new thing and how to access it. It's you know pretty straightforward now. You can check out the, the last video. And then we can ask it to create queries for us with uh, you know pr some pretty cool accuracy. Uh, of course, it, it has issues, and this is one of the uh, uh, example queries that I asked it to create the other day. And, some of the things that didn't work, and I asked it, hey, you know, take out the email part, and that didn't work. And we can do things like take this query into Fishbowl and copy it and, and run it. But what we have as a solution that I want to talk about with uh, with the audience is that you can actually access ChatGPT from within Fishbowl with our new magic. So I want to show that to you today. So in Fishbowl, I'm going to bring that up here, is that we have this new uh, module or tab. Uh, it's a plugin that goes into Fishbowl, and that plugin um, you know, is available in the reporting um, uh, menu under ILC AI. And once you have that and log into ChatGPT, you'll be able to, you know, navigate to this um, this uh, this window and you know interact and work with ChatGPT as if you were using a browser. This is using the 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 subsystem that Fishbowl provides uh, the uh, the BI report, BI editor platform. So there's a little bit of, you know, Fishbowl bringing some things to the table, ILC bringing up different things to the table. But the idea is to, to be able to put something together that really works well for customers. So we're just gonna, you know, do a live demo. And not only can we, you know, ask and use ChatGPT, but we can actually interact with Fishbowl data inside of this, uh, inside of this plugin. And I wanna show you that to you today. So let me, let's ask it how to create a, can you, a basic PO receiving query. So as it goes, okay. So it's it's done something, and we can we can edit that. Now we can also just copy the code and head over. Oh, okay. There's some bugs with the clipboard. But we can also, you could copy the code as yourself here, cop control C, and you can drop it into the data module and uh, try it out yourself. Here we go. And you know, that works. But some of the other magic that can be done is, uh, is also using this little button that I've added called try query. Now if we try to do the try query button, then some more magic happens. You don't have to do the copy and paste and kind of like do that. You can actually just initially run the query against your fishbowl and you're gonna get results. Now the cool part here is that we're just testing the query as is from ChatGPT using your fishbowl connection. None of the data le leaves your fishbowl client. It doesn't, it's all internal. ChatGPT doesn't see your data, doesn't see your item numbers, doesn't see your customers, doesn't see your quantities. We did that by design because we don't really want to have access to any of that information. We just want to help you be able to create these kind of uh, uh, insights or, or um, you know, quick data, uh, data data needs that you might have, uh, and and do that with being able using you know a large language model and just kind of conversely saying, hey, I need this, I need that, and that sort of thing. Now in the future, we do want to give it some feedback, like, hey, the query structure you created doesn't work or has this kind of problem. That sort of thing, I do see us in the future being able to add to the to the chat GPT magic. But today, you know, if it doesn't work, you can just tell it, hey, the query didn't work for this reason. Can you take that out? Or, or can you approach it from a different uh, a different way? And maybe you can get uh, some sort of results. So yeah, this is pretty cool. We're getting closer to closer to talking about this uh, more and more. And the one thing that um, I know that I can share with you now is like, yeah, maybe this is perfect and this is fantastic. I, 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 I wanna use this. You can click on the save icon here and I click on save, and that will save this particular query to the data module. So now we'll close this, pop over to the data module, and uh, and that, that was the one that I copied and pasted earlier. And now we have the same result that we had from uh, from the earlier test, and how it's here. And then we can start maybe sharing this with other people, depending on who has access to the data module, that sort of thing. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the platform that powers this and some of the uh, future ideas that we have with um, how ILC is reimagining 
of reports and interactive workflows, custom screens, custom apps for the official platform. So stay tuned for that. We'll talk about that soon and hope you all have a good day. Thanks.